my family wasn't that musical. Um, we listened to music, me and my brother, but my school, it was secondary school, there was a lot of bands and guitar players and drummers and stuff, and it was really encouraged at school. So I was around it loads, you know, I was in bands for like 13, 14 years old, you know, pretty early on. It was definitely a leap of faith changing from from sessioning up to playing my own stuff because it's like I was at, that idea of being at the front was not that um, appealing to me at the time. You know, I thought you had to like showboat and run around stage like Mick Jagger or something. But I, when I started doing it, I liked the feeling of performing my own music. You know, it felt so good to do that and getting reactions, whatever they were, was was quite exciting. So I realised that's the main thing, and actually you don't have to run around. You know, you can just perform the way you can. So. It was all right in the end, but it was, it was definitely a, a bit of a leap of faith. Standing now, calling all the people here to see the show. Calling all my demons now to let me go. You do definitely learn a lot from touring. Memories of like being everything, so memories of being tired, like memories of being like excited, memories of ever doing it, like everything, like bad gigs, good gigs, what not to do. You know, you just pick up. Every day you pick up a new tool to work for the next time. Um, different audiences, diff have, different countries have different characteristics in their audiences, you know, that's really interesting. So one country will be really mellow, but they're enjoying it, and some countries are really, like, obviously enjoying it. You know, it's just like, it's really a good, high adventure, you know, so, yeah, you learn a lot. You can take me down, you can break me down, you can take me down. Take me down, you can't break me down.